Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Djokovic has set an unprecedented record with this new championship. With this latest victory, Djokovic has pulled ahead of Nadal by a two grand slam difference, and it may be a long time before anyone can catch up with Djokovic, as he has shown the world that he is still in top form. Novak Djokovic defeated Daniil Medvedev 6-3, 7-6, 5-6-3 in the U.S. Open final on September 10. This victory, after 3 hours and 17 minutes of play, allowed Djokovic to settle the score with Medvedev from their U.S. Open final encounter two years ago. This time, the final only lasted three sets. Djokovic dominated in sets 1 and 3, and displayed superior skills in the second set tiebreak. His fourth U.S. Open title increased his Grand Slam record to 24, surpassing Rafael Nadal. Djokovic only lost his serve once in the match when he was leading 3-1 in the third set. Double faults and unforced errors seemed to jeopardize his lead, but he immediately won the next service game with a remarkable cross-court forehand winner. Medvedev attempted a comeback in Djokovic's service game but couldn't succeed. Djokovic won the third set 6-3 to secure his third Grand Slam title. In the second set, Djokovic showed signs of fatigue after numerous long rallies with Medvedev, which involved almost 30 racket touches per point. While Medvedev regained confidence and consistently pushed Djokovic into physical duels, Djokovic appeared less resilient at times. In a game that lasted over 12 minutes, Djokovic had to in a set with an average rally length of 6.5 racket touches, Medvedev had the edge, winning 26 out of 44 extended rallies. Djokovic had to adapt and find ways to finish points more quickly. His tactic of frequently serving and volleying helped him escape trouble. Djokovic won all 11 serve and volley points in the second set, ultimately sending the in the closely contested tie break. Medvedev took an early 3-1 lead. However, Djokovic displayed determination and class, winning three consecutive points at the end of the tie break to prevail 7-5, concluding a 1 hour and 45 minute second set. In the first set, Djokovic only needed 48 minutes to defeat his opponent, relying on a in the Wimbledon final, Djokovic won the first set but lost the second set tie break allowing Carlos Alcaraz to come back. This time, the second set tie break once again determined the outcome of Djokovic's Grand Slam final. By winning the crucial tie break, Djokovic led Medvedev by two sets and lowered the Russian spirits. In the third set, Medvedev couldn't hold his serve, losing it twice, and accepting his tenth defeat to Djokovic. In his first return to the U.S. in two years, Djokovic won all 12 matches to claim the Cincinnati Masters and the U.S. Open titles. This marks the fourth time in his career that he has won three Grand Slam titles in a single year, having achieved this feat in 2011, 2015, and 2021. At the age of 36, Djokovic and Medvedev, 27 years old, competed in the oldest combined age U.S. Open final of the Open era. I want to ask Novak. Why are you still here? Medvedev jokingly asked his senior after the match. It's our third Grand Slam final, and maybe it's not the last one. I hope not, because you might still be in many more finals. I don't know. Thank you for watching this video, and please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Goodbye, and see you again soon.